Hello, beautiful Cancerians. We are here to do a thoughts, feelings, and intentions reading for a love interest with whom you interact. We have the overall energy is beautiful. The King of Cups, that is a Scorpio King, very trustworthy, very much a master of their emotions, loves very deeply, loves forever. The ego, so we have a little bit of ego conflict here. It looks as though there's someone who just simply wants their way and it is their way or the highway or they're making a pretty big fuss here. That energy is very much uh, Aquarius energy. Uh, two thoughts, two minds, not really very calm, not very nice energy. So we have Nine of Cups. Look at you, Cancer. Your wish is coming true. Okay. So the Scorpio King and the Nine of Cups are beautiful cards. So now we have the Two of Wands. In your relationship, you are at a crossroads. The two of you need to make a decision about how to go forward. And it looks as though there's some ego conflicts or differences of opinion about where the relationship is heading or where you want it to go. Okay, let's look at this. Seven of Cups. It's time to make a choice. If you look in the cups, you'll see that not all choices are created equal. It does show that one or both of you in this connection are uh, feeling as though you want to keep your options open, okay? The Eat, Drink, and Be Merry card, though, I love the Nine of Cups. It is wish fulfillment. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have the Seven of Cups here? What does this mean for our overall energy? Okay, addiction. Okay, somebody has some issues. So somebody may actually drink too much wine or too many cups of wine. Um, we do see that there is support for each other in the way of the Scorpio King. There is a spiritual lesson to be learned here about egocentric battles. Let's see what else we have. Let's clarify this. Two of Wands. What is this about? Okay. Balance. One person is giving too much to the relationship. Okay. So... And why do we have the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Okay, let's see. Go slowly. Okay, so that looks like going slowly or the speed in which you move forward is very much an, an issue. And there are, there's a, a bit of a fight going on. Actually, it's not just a bit of a fight. It's an argument uh, for the most uh, for most of you. So let's look and see what the romance angels are here to say about the overall energy in this relationship for you. Okay, let's see. Healing family issues. Okay, I feel very much that that is addiction related. That tends to be a generational situation. What else is here for us? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. I'll pull one more romance angel for the overall energy. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. So those are considerations. And this is worth waiting for. Beautiful. Okay. Let's look at your person's thoughts about your first cancer. What does your person think about your connection? But more, more so, what do they think about you? What do they think? When they think of cancer, what are they thinking of? What are their thoughts? We're going to look at thoughts, feelings, and intentions, and then actions, okay, thoughts. This person feels as though there's a lot of work in this relationship. They feel like this needs to be, there needs to be more balance, that this should be more, um, we're gonna clarify that. Um, they just feel like this relationship causes a lot of stress and strain. 10 of Wands is carrying a burden. They have been carrying the burden though. They're going to release that burden pretty soon. It's almost like, okay, I need to take a break now. So let's see where this is going to go. 
the enthusiastic, optimistic, we love the Page of Wands. This person wants to be more playful. They really feel as though they want to have more adventure with you, more fun with you, that, you know, the idea of, okay, we're in a relationship. They, they, have, they have a real objection to a relationship not feeling fun to them. So when we look at the Nine of Cups, you know, yes, they want to go slowly. They want to take their time. They want to have fun, though, and that's what I'm seeing. Don't make this too heavy or too burdensome is sometimes they feel as though you're you're going about this incorrectly, that you're making it kind of heavy. The Sun card, oh, look at that. They do have a great deal of fun with you. It's the happiest card in the deck. It's Leo energy. This is Sagittarius energy. And uh, the Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. So your person really feels as though you could be the one because the Sun card is the prime indicator that you could have a very happy long-term relationship. The Sun card is a card that when I look at it as a major arcana in a relationship, it's the thread. It's something that's highly needed to enjoy each other for a lot of years. The Sun card means that your connection is very powerful, it's sexy, it's fun, it's enjoyable. When your person thinks of you, they think of happiness. Okay, the Queen of Wands, they see you as exceedingly beautiful, very fiery, very much in your power, somebody with whom they are fascinated, they are turned on by you, everything about you, you look good, you smell good, it's like when you take your power and you make uh, decisions about the how you want your life to go, they do find it very attractive, very sexy, okay. The Page of Pentacles, they're really, they, they're learning about you and they're enjoying what they know about you. They're enjoying very, very much. So this person feels as though they, you know, it's getting to know you, getting to know all about you, that with the Eight of Pentacles. And that is typically, um, I want to say Virgo energy, but I'm not, the, the pages are actually more about learning. So let's see what this Ten of Wands is about. What is the challenge of the Ten of Wands? What is this challenge? Why does this person feel that Cancer is like taking everything too seriously and making this more, more difficult than it has to be? Okay. Settling. For some of you, they feel as though you are so you're still dealing with the past relationship that you had or even a past situation in which there was possibly a breakup. Your person feels as though you have not released that you're, you know, you're very much, um, they're getting the impression from you that you're settling if you accept them as your lover. They don't say it to you though, ooh, the mute button is on. They do, you do, if you feel like you're settling, this person really knows it. And there's, that's where the ego battle is. Because if, you know, if somebody really thought that you felt that you were better than them, anybody would react pretty much in that way. So what I'm seeing here is there's something about the communication. The fact that this person doesn't really have the courage to say, look it, I think what you're saying is incorrect. You know, they, they definitely feel as though they're offended by it. They think in time though, this person does feel like in time, you know, the good news is, is that this too shall pass. Divine timing, okay. Why is the, why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is this addiction card here? What's going on with that? Pride and ego, okay. So the addiction is for many of you that this person has a lot of options in their love life and they have an addiction to sort of shopping online, looking at people online, talking online. That's how it comes up. 
I don't feel as though this is overwhelming, but it is something. Addictive behavior is clearly toxic, so that is going to be also one of the blockages or obstacles that you'll have to overcome. Um, so I feel as though this has been a point of issue between the two of you, and if you don't settle for that, that is appropriate because that's Queen of Wands energy. But if you are just, if, if any of you, and I wouldn't say that any of my people would do this, but if any of you are making comparisons to other lovers, like, well, I had this with this person and you're not giving me as much as this person gave me, that will actually cause your person to just blank out. That would actually cause a destruction of the relationship. So if there's any of that kind of ego-driven talk taking place, it's really important to stop it because a mute button is also the death card, okay? So it's really important to stop that. I don't necessarily think it's going on, but this person has a thought process which indicates that either in a subtle way or a direct way that, that they may not be good enough. If this person is younger than you, they may get the impression that the age difference is causing some difficulties for you because you know you want somebody who's more uh, experienced and serious okay so let's see what do we have here now let's get into the heart space look at that beautiful the leo king the leo king has wants you to be part of their pride the leo king the kings are always about marriage stability commitment this person is in it to win it with you we also have the strength card wow this fire energy they are so in the sun card leo 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 so you may be dealing with the leo sun moon or rising cancer or you may have it in your chart energies can be vice versa but this person their love for you this this very very strong love for you that they have with this uh king of cups energy is very passionate it's very committed it's committed to making you part of their pride meaning their family the strength card indicating that they feel as though they would go the distance with you that they could have a life with you that would be joyful and happy they are making maneuver they are maneuvering here the emperor card is aries energy and this is somebody who likes to boss up who likes to be the boss who likes to quote unquote wear the pants in the family um, they just you turn them on in every way you're the queen of wands they're the king of wands but this person is I, I think your person is ego driven i really do i think that they have some spiritual lessons to learn because the three of swords comes in here you know i'm getting that this person feels very very heartbroken um they we're going to clarify that three of swords because i want to make sure that they don't have a third party situation but we have this beautiful energy in terms of what's in their heart space they, are, they could be coming out of a relationship in which they're still suffering from heartache. But since we asked about how they feel about you, they are heartbroken. And I feel very much it's because they feel this burden that you may not think that they're good enough. Now, it doesn't mean that you've ever said or done anything like that, but that's their vibe. So let's look and see what that means in terms of... Let's clarify this. Why is the Three of Swords card here? Why is the Three of Swords card here in the heart space of Cancer's lover, love interest, person with whom they have a relationship? Stability. Okay. So they feel as though you may have a third party. Let's see. Let's look with the... Tarot. Okay. Why do we have the Three of Swords here? Your person wants stability. They want a relationship. Okay. The Queen of Wands again. So the Queen of Wands is highly desirable. So they feel as though they're jealous. Your person is very jealous. They do not think that you are focused on them. They feel as though you have multiple men. 
they feel as though, so for some of you, you may not be dating exclusively. You could have, for some of you, um, you know, that's where I see this as being. So, because what we have here is they feel like there's a competition. The swords up here is also an ego-driven battle. So there is a spiritual lesson to learn, but there's a lot of layers to this. This is kind of a complicated reading because we see, you know, we see the situation may also be that you could be with someone else. And that is making them very strategic and very much heartbroken that you haven't chosen them. So very interesting. It looks as though your person feels as though you are choosing someone over them and it's really kicking in their pride and ego. You know, for some of you, you may have broken up with this person and they're watching you online date someone else. And it is making them crazy. You're gonna hear from them, Eight of Wands communication. The, the uh, Knight of Cups is all about coming in with an offer of love, bringing a bouquet of flowers. You know, it's, it's very, very, very romantic energy, but they are missing you and they are heartbroken. They want stability in your relationship. So let's take a look. Okay, so they're in love with you. You can't be heartbroken unless you're in love with someone. And it's very, very watery energy, Cancer. All right, so their intentions with you, working on the relationship, trying to reach out to you, trying to see if you will work on the relationship with them, investing in the relationship, the Seven of Pentacles, you know, taking time out to really look at how far you've come, what the potentials are, uh, but the Eight of Coins says that they, they want this relationship. The Queen of Swords is Libra energy. It indicates that, you know, what we're seeing here is your person feels very much that you're the one for them. Oh, reconciliation. So the Three of Swords can mean third party, but it can also just mean a breakup, temporary, or one that's gone on for a while but your person wants to get back together with you. And whenever I see the Queen of Swords, you know, this person's really thought about this. They have given this a lot of strategic planning. They have a plan actually with that big chess piece with the Emperor. They're going to quote unquote man up, woman up, however you say it. Look at this Queen of Pentacles energy. They want to come in and they want to nurture the relationship. They're going to come in with a plan, a total plan. A, ma a man with a plan is another saying, but obviously this is a beautiful feminine energy of nurturing, uh, somebody who's very successful. It's Capricorn energy, but your person wants to return. They want to make the relationship better. So this could be ongoing or it could be a breakup and reconciliation. All right, let's get another card here for their intentions. The Two of Wands are at a crossroads. It's time to make a decision. Tell us something. Ah, the King of Pentacles popped out. All right. They are holding back a little bit. They have some fear, but they are going to communicate. They're going to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth from their heart space. I love the energy for you. It's really beautiful. Let's take a look now at the actions that they will take. The table's getting crowded, so now I'm going to have to go up and I'm going to go over the top of the energy cards for their actions. Okay, what are this per what are the actions that Cancer's person will take? They have a strategy, so now we will see what they will actually do. What will they do? Nine of fire. Ooh, they're going to soldier on. They are actually, they've decided now to win you back, to have a reconciliation that they're holding out for you, that they are not, they're going to drop any upset that they have and work realistically and in a very dedicated way to make you have more confidence in them. So beautiful energy, nine of fire. That is the warrior that carries on into the next battle and will fight, quote unquote, till the death, metaphorically. Two of coins, they're caught between two different ideas of what action they should take. We will clarify that. 
we have the justice card okay so for any of you that are in a third party situation this person is either getting a divorce or they're about to get a divorce they could be on their way out of another relationship because of these cards the justice card is also libra energy so it also indicates that they would like to marry you because the justice card is also about buying homes together uh, renting places together it's all legal documents to do with partnership in this instance up to and including a marriage license so gorgeous energy we don't have any other marriage cards per se so we do have that they want to make you part of their family okay king of earth here we have it again we have two king of earth cards so that is taurus energy this person does want to come in with a solid offer they see you as so you have a double set here on one hand the passion between the two of you is off the charts king and queen of wands here they see both of you as being very grounded and very able to create a legacy with the queen and king of pentacles or earth all right so what else do we have for their actions what else do we have for this person's actions the two of fire making a decision they have to move forward and actually decide on what plan they have and what plan they're going to enact all right spirit eight three of air but they're heartbroken again they're healing from heartbreak so what is this heartbreak Okay, the strength card, all right, we have the strength card here. The page of fire, we have the page of fire here also. So this person wants to throw caution to the winds. You know, they have the strength to come through for you and transformation. So I'm seeing the heartbreak is very likely to do with what they have to do. To come to you, there has to be this person. This is really a third party situation in which somebody looks like they're getting a divorce and it looks like the transformation is a death card they're going to go through with that. This ego battle and, and fight over here, I think is very much you setting your limits, uh, Cancer. You telling this person that no matter how much you love them, that you are not going to carry any more burdens either. It's really gorgeous energy. Let's see what Moonology has for the advice for you. Okay, what's the advice for our Cancer friends? Look at this. Okay. Be bold. Make the first move. Okay. So reach out to this person. They are missing you. Let them know. Oh, you are. You and your loved ones are safe. Beautiful energy. You, oh, and look at that's the crab. That's the new moon in Cancer. So maybe this will happen around a new moon in Cancer. Look at this. Expect a powerful change. Well, I would say with the, the transformation of the death card, you know, and the justice card and these two three of swords, this person finds it unbearable to be without you. The answers you need are coming beautiful. I think they just came with the Gemini full moon that we had in November on the 30th. And conclusions are within reach. So, you know, the romance angels are suggesting, you know, that you just, you go ahead and go for this relationship. That this is something that could be quite beautiful. Cancer, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care.